Faye Bainter, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, distinguished herself through her impactful performances. Her unique qualities set her apart from her contemporaries, prompting the question what makes Faye Bainter stand out from others in her era? Perhaps you have a lasting memory from one of her works that resonates with you. Share your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we uncover intriguing, amusing, and poignant facts about this classic Hollywood actor. There's a lot more to discover, so keep watching for funny, shocking, and sad revelations. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Faye Bainter? Share your anecdotes below. Faye Bainter, a luminary in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark with compelling performances that transcended the screen, captivating audiences with authentic portrayals of characters. Known for versatility, she effortlessly navigated between drama and comedy, showcasing a range that set her apart. Her unique qualities, a seamless blend of talent and charisma, made her a standout presence in the bustling Hollywood landscape of her era. Her impact extended beyond roles, leaving a lasting impression on those who experienced her work. Contributions to the world of cinema resonate with the audience, prompting reflection on cherished memories associated with performances. Delving into the intriguing facets of her career, one can't help but appreciate the depth of her craft and the lasting impact she had on the cinematic landscape. What stands out in her body of work? What memories do you hold dear? Share your anecdotes below as we continue to unravel the layers of this classic Hollywood figure. In celebrating Faye Bainter, we uncover not just the amusing and shocking, but also the poignant moments that define her legacy. Join us in exploring the depth of her craft and the impact she had on the cinematic landscape. Faye Bainter, a seasoned actress in screen, stage, and television, faced the challenges of the entertainment world with resilience. Interestingly, during her Broadway stint in The Lady Crystalinda, she completed the run while three months pregnant with her son Reginald. Her foray into acting wasn't a personal choice, but rather a nudge from her mother. By the tender age of six, she found herself on stage, marking the beginning of a journey that led to her Broadway debut at 18. However, the initial attempt didn't yield much success, prompting her to return to the world of stock acting companies. Bainter's trajectory in the entertainment industry showcased her adaptability, seamlessly transitioning between screen, stage, and television. Her journey, influenced by early experiences on Broadway, was marked by determination and a knack for portraying authentic characters. Achieving a rare feat in the annals of Hollywood history, Faye Bainter secured nominations for both lead and supporting Oscars in 1938, a distinction shared by only a select few. Notably, her performances in White Banners and Jezebel marked a pivotal moment in her career, with the latter earning her the coveted Oscar, solidifying her standing as an accomplished actress. In recognition of contributions to the entertainment industry, Faye Bainter was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Bestow would upon her on February 8, 1960, at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard, this acknowledgement immortalizes her name in the heart of Hollywood, California. Among the elite group of Oscar-winning actresses born in California, she stands alongside luminaries such as Gloria Graham, Joe Van Fleet, Liza Minnelli, and others. This distinction places her among a select few who brought acclaim to the state with stellar performances on the silver screen. Faye Bainter's journey through the realms of screen, stage, and television showcased adaptability and resilience. From her early days on Broadway, where she completed a run in The Lady Crystalinda while three months pregnant to seamless transitions between different facets of the entertainment world, her career is a testament to determination and authenticity. Her impact reverberates not only through the accolades she garnered, but also in the memories she left with audiences. Delving into the layers of her career, we uncover the depth of her craft and the lasting impression she had on the cinematic landscape. Share your thoughts and memories as we explore the rich tapestry of Faye Bainter's legacy. Faye Bainter's notable presence extends to the realm of cinema, with three Oscar Best Picture nominees under her belt Jezebel, Our Town, and The Human Comedy. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, her personal life intertwined with duty as her husband, Reginald Sidney Hugh Venable, served as a lieutenant commander in the United States Navy. In Axel Nissen's actresses of a certain character, 40 familiar Hollywood faces from the 30s to the 50s, insights into her biography reveal the woman behind the roles. 
Faye Bainter's journey into acting began early, guided not by personal choice, but by a nudge from her mother at the tender age of six. Despite a setback in her initial Broadway debut at 18, she navigated the challenges, demonstrating adaptability across screen, stage, and television. In 1938, she achieved a rare feat, securing nominations for both lead and supporting Oscars. Notably, her pivotal performances in White Banners and Jezebel earned her the coveted Oscar, solidifying her status as an accomplished actress. Her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, unveiled on February 8, 1960, at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard, stands as a testament to her contributions to the entertainment industry. Among the elite group of Oscar-winning actresses born in California, Faye Bainter joins luminaries like Gloria Graham and Joe Van Fleet. Her impact reaches beyond accolades, resonating in the memories left with audiences. From her early days on Broadway to seamless transitions between different facets of the entertainment world, her career is marked by determination and authenticity. Exploring the layers of her legacy invites you to share your thoughts and memories, providing a unique perspective on this seasoned actress who left an indelible mark on classic Hollywood. Part 6 Amidst the Demands of Motherhood, Faye Bainter displayed remarkable resilience in returning to work merely five months after giving birth to her son Reginald. Her dedication was evident as she graced the Broadway stage in the other rows, showcasing her commitment to the craft she embraced. Part 7 In a historic moment at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles on February 29, 1940, Faye Bainter played a pivotal role in breaking barriers. Hattie McDaniel, the first African-American to win an Oscar, received the statuette for Best Supporting Actress in Gone with the Wind. It was a significant moment in the annals of Hollywood history. Part 8 Faye Bainter's familial ties extended beyond her immediate family. She shared a sisterly bond with Grace Burgess, born on May 22, 1880, and who lived until March 10, 1974. Their connection, though less discussed, adds another layer to the actress's personal narrative. After her passing, Faye Bainter found her resting place in Arlington National Cemetery, a final homage to her military officer husband who also lies there. This choice of burial ground reflects a familial tie to a life of service. Notably, she held a family connection with Dorothy Burgess, who was her niece. The bond between them, though familial, adds another dimension to her personal narrative. In 1938, a shift in the Academy Awards rules ensued due to confusion surrounding dual nominations. This alteration in the nomination and voting process aimed to avoid similar uncertainties in the future. Her journey, marked by resilience and adaptability, left an imprint not only in the entertainment world, but also in Hollywood's prestigious resting ground and the corridors of award ceremonies. The changes sparked by her career reveal a lasting impact on the industry.